Namibia's population of over two million people can feel increasingly secure in their future. The country's tourism industry is growing rapidly, and the fishing and mining industries are both increasingly productive. But one of the difficulties faced by the southern African country is a lack of energy sources. It may, in fact, be headed towards an energy crisis. The southern African country imports 70% of its energy from neighbouring South Africa. But South Africa's power utility, ESCON, has announced that it will be unable to provide Namibia with a steady supply of electricity in the future. Namibia relies on a hydropower plant on the Quenin River in the north and on a coal-burning plant in the capital, Windhoek, for the remainder of its energy. But power outages are common and coal is increasingly expensive. The country's relatively small population is spread out over a vast area, which makes it difficult to ensure that everybody has access to energy. But one resource that Namibia has in abundance is sunshine. The United Nations Development Programme's Global Environment Facility Unit is helping pave the way to an increase in the use of solar energy. The villagers living in Ovitoto now have access to electricity. The people here have traditionally used other energy sources for all their needs. Now, with the solar panels on every house in the village, the locals have access to a light source and other electric appliances. I am happy that it provides lighting after dark. And I can now listen to the radio. UNDP GEF has been working with the Namibian Ministry of Mining and Energy to tap this energy source for the population and to help with the funding and administration of the project. The project hopes to help people to get finance for the installation of the solar energy systems in their homes, as well as installing solar panels on the public buildings like schools and health clinics. Shimwi Feilini Hamutwe, an energy technical advisor at the ministry, says that this energy source is perfect for the Namibian environment. Since we started, there had been a tremendous um, boom within the um, need and awareness of people to get more and more solar systems and uh, all the suppliers and service providers in this sector nowadays are very much satisfied on the development that is happening in the market. Akiko Yamamoto, head of UNDP's Environment Unit in Namibia, says that increasing access to clean, sustainable energy will also directly help the people of Namibia. Without this access, the basic task of cooking a meal involves collecting firewood for an hour each day before bending over a smoky three-stone fire in poorly lit and ventilated kitchens. Each year, 1.4 million people around the world die from respiratory diseases related to breathing in smoky air caused by burning biomass fuels. When UNDP starts up the project, the first goal is the management of the environment. But at the same time, we try and improve the life of the poor and try to secure the resources for the people. In Wintok, a UNDP GEF funded solar caravan teaches about renewable energy to students. The caravan uses both solar energy and wind turbines to produce electricity and heat. The hope is that teaching people about the viability of these energy sources will both help the environment and, in the case of Namibia, bring energy services to remote areas that have so far not been connected to the main electric grid. Electricity.